Perfect. So welcome, everyone. Uh, thanks for having me here in this amazing community. It's my first time. I hope to see you also again in the upcoming sessions. A uh, quick introduction about myself. So my name is Mohammed uh, Abdel Sattar. I'm um, from Avanad. I'm a solution architect in the area of Microsoft 365 and Power Platform. And I'm here based on uh, Germany, Dusseldorf. So moving forward, uh, in my agenda today, um, I would like to uh, introduce you uh, one of the heading games from my uh, perspective. So everybody's talking about Power Platform, uh, Power Apps, uh, Power Automate, uh, Power BI, but uh, Dataflow is, uh, could also save your life if you are dealing with uh, uh, Dataverse or model-driven apps or Dynamics 365. So a really cool uh, tool and really cool feature. I personally uh, uh, like it. Uh, so introduction into uh, data flows, uh, key uh, features and capabilities, uh, also business values, and uh, definitely uh, use cases and how we used it in our project. And finally, uh, I would end up with a quick and small demo. Um, introduction, what uh, Dataflow is all about. Uh, Dataflow is uh, basically a, a tool within the uh, Power Platform uh, uh, toolkit or to, uh, uh, set of tools. Uh, you uh, basically can use it uh, to uh, load data uh, or synchronize data or migrate data from uh, uh, any system to uh, Dataverse. Uh, data flows uh, could uh, help you uh, to connect to this data make a transformation of the data, and finally get this data ingested into uh, your database if you have uh, um, an application based on uh, Microsoft Dataverse. Um, uh, these data flows uh, uh, rather, uh, either could be scheduled, uh, so you can schedule it to run on a regular basis, like uh, weekly, daily, yearly, uh, uh, um, you can decide, or uh, also, you can uh, run this uh, manually on demand um, uh, in case you um, uh, you need such uh, uh, or it's needed in such a case. It's uh, basically no code, uh, so uh, uh, yeah, a business loves it. So you can uh, just uh, transform uh, the data, consolidate it in in a single place from different sources, and and serve this into uh, the data driven uh, um, application. Um, key features uh, uh, and capabilities. Uh, so uh, data flows make it um, easy to decouple the data transformation logic into a, a single place um, with uh, a robust, so a really robust uh, no-code engine. Uh, it comes directly or runs directly on the cloud. Uh, so all um, all uh, uh, all computation will be done on the cloud. Uh, with all the computation power, uh, so you can imagine. Uh, uh, also, it comes with um, uh, so many uh, possibilities um, uh, to connect to the data. So uh, uh, you can connect uh, to an Excel file, you can connect to a CSV file on, on to a SQL database, even uh, uh, to another dataverse. Um, so you can basically use it to Azure, definitely. Uh, uh, um, yeah, uh, and you can see this in in in, in the screenshot here. Uh, uh, most of this um, connection and definitely SharePoint, so you can basically connect to uh, literally yeah nearly everything, uh, and then you can uh, consolidate this data and uh, uh, make a transformation, and then you can uh, uh, get this uh, prepared and ingested. Uh, what? do you need uh, for this is basically nothing you just need your uh, license so uh, to the power platform um, it, it comes directly if you have like a dataverse license or if you have per user license uh, per, uh, per app license so you get it uh, by default um, so you know you don't need to pay something extra here um, and then uh, you just need your browser so no really uh, sophisticated infrastructure or no uh, uh, tools uh, required uh, here um one uh, uh, in one of our projects with our clients actually uh, uh, we did something like this so uh, just uh, for you to 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 give you some ideas how we can use it you still can definitely combine uh, data flows with other technologies uh, as example uh, here uh, we um uh, we uh, combine this with uh, uh, the uh, outlook so we have like a, a flow uh, running every day 
uh, or actually one, one of the systems like uh, sending us like a list of, uh, let's say, products on daily basis as an Excel file. They share it with us on an email. So we, we get this uh, uh, processed via email or from the uh, email mailbox. Uh, we process this file and we get it ingested into uh, a SharePoint on a regular basis. And then uh, from the SharePoint, uh, we are actually getting our data and uh, uh, making it ready for the Dataverse to, um, uh, to, to be updated or to be added to the Dataverse. So just imagine uh, automating a process like this, uh, how simple it is uh, with, um, with Power Platform, with the help of Power Platform, and how complex if you would like to utilize this uh, or if you want to accomplish the same outside. Uh, definitely uh, also not limited uh, uh, to this, but also uh, uh, SharePoint. So SharePoint is, is one of the uh, data sources uh, we are using either to store the files or to have the data directly in a SharePoint list. So master data, as example, uh, could be read or could be added from uh, different SharePoint lists. Uh, as example, in this project, we have the currencies, and then uh, we can connect or uh, Dataflow will, will make it uh, possible for you to connect to the SharePoint and grab the data uh, into the Dataverse. Uh, uh, definitely also uh, SQL Server. Uh, uh, taking a big portion of it, and then uh, uh, it's possible either uh, with a SQL on Azure uh, 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 or a SQL on-premise, uh, you can connect to it and uh, grab the data again, consolidate the data, transform the data in the way you want, and then uh, you put it into the Dataverse. Um, next is uh, uh, the demo. So I have a quick one um, to show you how you can create a data flow, how to consolidate data, and uh, what comes with the engine out of the box. So let me uh, switch uh, to my demo tenant. So for the, I hope you can see already, uh, Microsoft dot or make dot Yep. Yep. Sure. Um, all right, so for this, um, I have prepared just for you to uh, to understand the demo. So I have prepared like three tables, uh, country, industry, organization information, just as a sample. And then I created uh, this data flow to get the data from uh, a CSV file. Um, I, I have it and then uh, uh, I, we can get the data from there. So let me show you um, how to create a data flow. So typically you come to uh, the maker portal, you go to the uh, data flows, and then you create a new data flow, you give it a name. So demo uh, data flow, and then I give it two. And then uh, here um, you land to this screen, actually, you see the uh, way of uh, data connection. Um, so uh, you can connect to Excel, text, or uh, whatever um, possibility. It's even supporting uh, ODBC data. It also can support APIs and uh, uh, can support also SharePoint and, and even Plank uh, table if you want to start with a Plank table. Uh, you can also come here and upload a file. Um, and then what will happen here is that uh, you, um, you will get this file up to uh, the OneDrive, first of all, and then from the OneDrive, uh, you can connect to it. So this is what I'm doing now. I'm uploading a CSV file. I have like 100 records in, in this CSV file and then uploading it uh, uh, so that I can build on top. And then I'm clicking uh, next. So just yeah, collecting data, definitely you can. It's possible that you do it uh, with uh, uh, other uh, way of connection. Um, so you can get one table or more here. Um, and here uh, it comes to this window when it comes to this window. So you can basically play with the data um, uh, uh, in the way you want. So um, uh, uh, very powerful engine, very uh, uh, powerful way of, of playing with the data in the same way like the Power BI. Uh, 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 as example, you could um, uh, easy, you can, uh, as example here, uh, uh, remove duplicates. So this is one of the uh, options uh, like Excel. You can keep uh, uh, rows, you can keep top rows, like you want to select like the top thousand rows. You can filter the row uh, based on any filter criteria, like uh, uh, remove empty as example, uh, or begins with or contains. Uh, uh, you can also do group by, so you can group by, um, uh, uh, your table and, and bring something out of it. Like as example, if you want to have like a unique list, 
let's say, of the country. So you can uh, uh, just group by the country and then you can get, as example, the uh, count of um, or the sum of, uh, let's say, in the number of employees per the country. Um, and then you can say, OK, total uh, number uh, of employees. And then uh, this will include like a transformation step here uh, to group by. Uh, then you can see, uh, as example, per country, what kind of uh, or how many uh, employees uh, are there. And then you can get a unique list of the um, of the countries. Uh, you can also remove it. So uh, you back to you back one step. Um, and uh, uh, so if you are dealing with Power BI and this support query, so you should uh, basically know this. Uh, but it's it's very powerful one. Uh, uh, you can also like have multiple tables um, you can combine multiple tables with merge uh, like you can do an outer join or an inner join uh, uh, this uh, will uh, all allow you to uh, to be done here also like adding custom columns or if you want to add an index column as example uh, directly so this is uh, quite easy to uh, to accomplish here i um yeah I mean, that's uh, how to prepare the data. So you transfer, you, you connect to the data, transform the data, refine it, uh, clean it, uh, 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 do whatever you want with the data. Then you click on next. Uh, um, actually, there is like two different data flows, one on the Power BI, which actually ends here. So you have the data in um, what's so-called uh, 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 data lake. But here in the Power Platform, it's a bit different. So uh, the intention here in the Power Platform and the Power Apps that you uh, will basically load this data somewhere in the dataverse. So you can either create a new table or you can uh, uh, do with an existing table. And then you can basically just select one of your tables here. Uh, as example, my, let's say, uh, organization. Uh, I have one already created. Yeah, this one here. And then, uh, uh, first of all, you define a key for your table. Uh, I will let you know what, what does it mean, uh, this key, um, just to ensure the uh, uniqueness of this record uh, and that uh, also it can decide or the engine can decide either it's an update or an addition operation. You can also auto map, so you, it will be mapped directly. All the columns will be mapped directly. Uh, you still can do uh, uh, the country and then you can do the others. Of course, you need to uh, double check this. And then uh, the number of employees, as example, organization uh, ID. And then uh, uh, you can click on Next. Uh, then it will ask you, basically, if you want to uh, manually refresh. And uh, if something is happening, then you, uh, or a failure happens here, you can then still send the uh, notification to the data flow owner. Uh, or uh, you can also uh, refresh it automatically, so you can uh, you can decide okay on which schedule it should run, and in the same way you can also send the uh, notification um, uh, directly uh, from here. A, let me back here. Uh, so I have it run uh, already. Uh, we don't need to wait uh, or to run it. Uh, I just show you this uh, 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 refresh history. So. Um, uh, I managed to upload like uh, 100K records already. Uh, I mean, I even tried it with the real projects with millions of records, so like a couple of millions, uh, and it's really working fine. Uh, so you can also see here uh, like a report um, tells you, okay, how many uh, rows has been updated or how many rows has been created for this particular table. Uh, also, if something was failed, uh, then uh, something like this. Uh, then you can see, okay, where exactly is uh, the error. Um, and it even provides you with like how many rows was updated, how many created and how many failed. And then you can uh, just iterate through whatever failed and then check uh, where is the problem and then you can fix it. So uh, a really powerful uh, uh, engine and you can, you can just uh, uh, use it. And when you use it, you would definitely uh, love it. Back to uh, my slide. Um, so I just want to uh, give you also my tips and tricks and takeaways from a project. Uh, or uh, uh, yeah, just to recap, what Dataflow is. Uh, so uh, uh, Dataflow will help you uh, without a complicated infrastructure uh, in the background. So people who are dealing with data uh, 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 know what I mean. Like you, you would need to have uh, data breaks or whatever infrastructure required and license in the background. So this is comes out of the box. You don't need any uh, uh, anything if you have like the Power Platform already in place. 
It supports a wide range of possible connection, as we see, uh, or as we saw, enables on-the-go aggregation, filtering, and data cleansing and sorting. Uh, it supports actually both addition and updation uh, operation. So you can add or update, so it's not only add. Allows for both schedule and on-demand runs, definitely, uh, and handy basic or all basic data uh, types, such as text, numbers, the choices, uh, even complicated uh, or complex data types like uh, uh, lookups, uh, like multi-choice and so on, this all can be handled here. Uh, and uh, 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 last but not least, the data flows can be definitely migrated, uh, exported, imported, and, and bundled all into a solution. So you can move it across environments, and uh, 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 this is really awesome. Uh, my uh, time is up. Uh, here are uh, some references. Uh, uh, from Microsoft if you want to learn more about the uh, data flows. And with this, uh, thank you and back to you, Dave.